Bikey on the receiving end for a this change. This is a man bites dog kind of a headline. Bikey, a victim of senseless random violence. So that's what that feels like. Patched gang member David Orm was at his girlfriend's home last year when a bunch of angry chaps arrived at the house. Hello, Drew. Now, Dave is no stranger to violence. In 2019, he was arrested by the TRG on suspicion of being involved in a shootout in Gosnells, an allegation he denied. Innocent. I'm innocent here, and I'm being arrested for be being shot at. So when Edward Bennell stormed through Dave's girlfriend's front door, Dave did what bikies do. Get ready for an axe whooping. Seeing Dave had an axe, Eddie looked for something he could defend himself with. He used a letterbox and then a meat cleaver to bash and slash Dave 12 times, leaving the bikey with four deep cuts to his head, a slash to his cheek, a facial fracture and nerve damage. And a broken nose. He broke in my nose. After executing a textbook letterbox meat cleaver assault, Bennell went on the run. He was picked up by police two days later and is now doing five and a half years jail. Better he was picked up by police than, than picked up by Dave Orm's bikey gang, quite right. Dave is a patched member of the Nomads Outlaw Motorcycle Gang. When did the Nomads originate? Late 60s. First president was a guy called Metho Tom, an altar boy who became known as the King of Blacktown. By the 1990s, the Nomads were serious players in Australia. Police intelligence reports show they were one of six gangs at a meeting of bikey clubs in Sydney in 1994. The Nomads, Hells Angels, Outlaws, Bandidos, Rebels and Black Uhlans agreed to work together on the aspirational goal of controlling all drug dealing, prostitution and extortion in Australia by the year 2000. Teamwork makes the dream work. That's what NBA grades call a stretch target. <laughs> They were going to achieve this by joining forces with a New Zealand gang which went by the 90s soft rock name Highway 61. Cops thought that pact was part of an international move by three American gangs, Hells Angels, American Outlaws and the Bandidos, which at that time were sometimes known as the Fat Mexicans. That fellowship didn't last long. In 2005, Metho Tom's bike business was burnt to the ground. He died of cancer in 2008. His funeral stopped traffic. By the time Tom died, the Nomads had a new generation of leaders coming through, including this guy. Sam Ibrahim is brother of Sydney underworld celebrity John Ibrahim. In 2006, Sam became president of the Parramatta chapter of the Nomads, which by this time was the second largest outlaw motorcycle gang in Sydney behind the Rebels. A year later, the chapter collapsed and re-emerged as a street gang that went by the 1990s rap name Notorious. These guys were the original Nike bikies. Dirty denim and beards replaced by shaved chests and streetwear. By the late noughties, whatever goodwill left over from the historical links between the Nomad slash Notorious and the Hells Angels had evaporated. We are so over. <laughs> Fine by me! Bikies really are a fickle bunch. February 2009, Notorious members were prime suspects in the bombing of a Hells Angels bikey clubhouse in Petersham in Sydney's Inner West. That's about the time that WA Police Assistant Commissioner Nick Andersich told a conference of Australian prosecutors that Notorious was heading to Perth. Nick said that gang, along with the Lone Wolf and Rock Machine clubs, were muscling in because Boomtown be loving the meth and 293 members of WA's existing seven bikey clubs couldn't keep up with demand. Hunger's insatiable, buddy. I mean, f In 2019, the Nomad's national president, Moody Tajour, stepped down with a tell-all interview. Why the change of heart? You get old, mate. It's not fun being a gangster anymore. He quit the club to spend more time working on his YouTube channel and streetwear line. <laughs> which is based on his Instagram tag. By all accounts, it was doing well, and according to Toujour, no criminality. How have you made the money then? Legitimate money. Let me guess. Containers, Containers for, for change. change. You never heard of recycling? I'm Ben Harvey. If anyone knows how to murder someone and get away with it, it would have been him. He was a animal. Do you believe Gary White is an innocent man? 100%.